Welcome to Ace Designs 107. I'm the Ace in the car pack and you are the kings and queens. Today what I have for you guys is a Cinema 4D tutorial showing you how to make modeled logos, text, anything that you can think of in Cinema 4D. But in our case we're going to be doing a logo. So if you did enjoy the tutorial make sure to leave a like in the description below and also comment on what you thought so I can personally thank you and the difficulty for this tutorial will be three out of five stars and the duration will take 15 minutes but it can be anywhere to an hour or even more or even less than 15 really depends on how much detail you want to go on your modeling I'll be providing some models in the description below and also a Lightroom for you guys to use so make sure you go download that one and yeah thanks for watching the video I hope that you do enjoy it and let's get straight into it welcome to the desktop this is where the magic happens we're going to straight away open up Cinema 4D and get straight into this tutorial. Now for the Lightroom that I'll be using in today's tutorial, there'll be a link in the description below. It isn't mine, it's by this guy called Fezzo Designs. He has around 14k subs, but he is inactive on his channel, um, unfortunately. But he's a great designer, he's taught me a lot. And I'll also be using his models pack, so links will be in the description below where you can download these, these aren't mine. I will be doing tutorials though on how to make this stuff later on when the channel gets with time basically. So let's get straight into it. Open up the Lightroom, as I said, in the description. I'm just gonna group all these as an example and I'm gonna name this logo, whatever. I'll just hide this one. Hide everything about this logo. And we're going to straight away um, press File Merge, and we're going to bring in the Phase Clan. Like, actually, let's use the Saw logo. So where is Saw? Saw Sniping. Press Open. Press the Scale for one. There will be a link in the description below where you can get all these logo AEIs. I won't need to show you how to make your own for each tutorial, which is great. And we're just going to first of all change the scale, um, the scale of this one down to like 56%. And then we will hold Alt and bring over an extrude. But first of all, we'll go with the um, saw logo and make sure that these are connected. I just control clicking them, connect paths, and bring this path under there. Sweet. Okay, so with the extrude, what we are going to do is change the movement of it to 90. And we're going to go to the caps, go to fillet cap, fillet cap. The steps is going to be 1, radius is going to be 1, and also the steps will be 1 and radius 1. Then we are going to right click on this and then do make editable. Right click, do select children, right click and do connect objects plus delete. Just zoom in. And what we're going to do now is bring up the knife tool. We're just going to make some cuts. So this is, these cuts are going to be where the models are held. I reckon like here we should have a section cut off. Oops. Something like that. We will also do one across here. Bam, bam, bam. Hoping that you guys are enjoying this tutorial. And if you are, make sure to hit that like button. Let's see if we can get to 25 likes be greatly appreciated actually I'm just going to delete that line that I've done here and I'm gonna make it like an angle something like that now we can do more cutting in the sections but we're just gonna work with these I am going to start off with this one and I'm gonna show you the technique to start extruding them inwards so you just select it with the select tool make sure that this icon is selected right click and then do extrude inner and then just click anywhere and drag your mouse towards your keyboard, not away. 
right click and then do extrude and extrude this one back a little bit then right click again do extrude inner bring it in and then right click do well not bevel extrude back and bring this one back so what you can see here is that we have like kind of a steps so it's something pretty cool then we are going to bring in the models from Fezzo's pack so we are going to go and open up the cogs wheel and just bring in one paste it in by pressing ctrl c ctrl v i'm going to change the rotation of this just so it's like all standard move this one in with the move tool just in relatively like that. This one's a bit too large, so we're gonna scale it down by getting the scale tool up in our toolbar and just clicking down on there and we'll bring that down like that. Okay, sweet. I'll also bring this one back just to have some depth like that. Actually, I'll bring it like forward and I will also drop on the an orange texture as seen like that. Then press Ctrl C, press Ctrl V, move this one up and across. I'll change the scale right down to like here. Use the move tool. Bring this, we've seemed to lost our thing, great. And this one, you wanna kinda have like that depth as seen. Okay, great. Press Ctrl C, press Ctrl V. Resize, scale this one up again. Just have like a different variety of cogs. You could say cog wheels. And I don't want you guys to mistake me from saying cog and cock. I just want to make sure that is clear. can bring these ones in like that press ctrl c press ctrl v this is just a tutorial but in like your own model you probably want to have a, like a lot of different variety i would say and like i'm still working with my 3d design like i'm pretty good with text like 3d text banners but like modeling like this is like an area where i've just started to get into it like today literally so yeah now if we can render this one out, we can see that we have some of the cogs in there. And like if we come off from an angle, you can definitely see that it's 3D. And that's one technique that you can use. Now if you drag on a white texture onto your logo, this will just give it okay looks, you guess, I guess. You can also drag on this lava texture that won't be found, but I'll just show you what it can look like with different textures. Just drag and drop these and replace all of this. Now shift click all of these and change the projection to cubic. That's what it can look like. So it can actually look pretty cool. Then we are going to do some modeling in our other sections. So right click and then do extrude inner. Bring this one in, extrude back. And make sure that this one is extruded in. Just gonna bring like that. Extrude inner. Extrude back. Okay. So then we are going to bring in some rods. So if you go to window models and And bring up let's just say this rod press ctrl C press ctrl V we're gonna right click and do group object rotate this one 190 degrees somewhere roughly like that and I'll be showing you like how to use splines and everything like that in cinema 40 so this is not the first tutorial that I will be doing in modeling like I just want to make that so clear because I've got so much more content to show you guys and yeah I'm just so excited to make videos it's been great for the past couple days and keep on supporting my videos because of you are doing great okay so render this one out and then we have like some rods I, I would say A 
look how beast that looks. And I can just imagine like putting a really nice textures in here and you would be able to get some cool shit coming out. Then if we go back to our logo, we can grab up the knife tool again and try some different cuts. So let's just try, actually let's try and extrude this one. So if we grab up the knife tool briefly and just make like a little, I guess what you could call like a little divide section. And you're not letting me cut, you f mother trucking. Right click and then do extrude in, extrude out. And then you can like do extrude in and then extrude out and then extrude in. And then you get like some really cool. Dope patterns like this, bam. 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 And you get like some really cool funky stuff. And like you can color individual faces by just selecting a face. So if you go to your selection tool, like you can select all these individual faces. So let's just say I just want to color in this face. If you just select that and just drag on your color, then you can grab up a color like that. And around these, you just want to have it like black or whatever. That's all good. We can select those and then drag on like this one. And change this one to cubic projection. And then bring that one on. Now if we test this one out, we can see that it's only colored on the sides and then the front is yellow. So you can like get some really cool designs. Like if I can zoom in here, you can see with this like render, how it's gone like in, out, in, out, and all these little cool little boxes and stuff. So I, I guess that's really, really cool and funky. And obviously like people can spend hours modeling. So like this one, I can go, I just want to extrude matrix and like get some crazy stuff. So like that. And let's do another an extrude matrix. Actually, no, nah, let's go um, extrude inner. Extrude out. And then if we render this one, we can see that We've like really changed the logo in so much different aspects and the lighting room so it's justice. So I didn't want to make this video too short, I just wanted to show you some effects at the end. I do hope that you enjoyed it and if you did make sure to subscribe, like the video and also follow me on my Google Plus. Let's see if we can get myself to 1000 Google Plus followers so I can be verified on YouTube, that would help so much. Um, yeah, so thank you so much everybody. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. Peace